Hi friends, we're driving through Ahihik from west to east and I'm on my way down to get a hamburger and fries for me and for Juan who's painting on the house. And the reason I'm doing that is because, well, two things. First of all, uh, last week was the Dia de la Cruz, the day that the patrons, those are the guys who are paying for a construction project, buy or make lunch for all of the workers. And since Juan was painting my house that week, I, as the patron, promised him that I would make lunch for him, but uh, I couldn't do it that day because I already had uh, dinner reservations with some friends. So I promised him that I would do it uh, the next day on Saturday and then um, he wasn't able to work on Saturday and today is Monday and I still haven't fulfilled my duty as a patron so I'm taking the lazy way out and going down to Central Magno to get a couple of hamburgers for lunch for Juan and I. This is a stop along the way to get some coffee for Lynn. That's the main church in Ahihika. Somebody asked me about this wall the other day and I think it was just an art project. This is a grade school here. Speaking of grade school, see that picture up there? It's uh, the mother of the lake, but here in the United States, and you painted a blue bear breast on the wall of the school. Would you be having a meeting at the school board? <laughs> I'm going into the Cafe Grano here to get Lynn some coffee. Buenas tardes. Uh, un kilo de house blend. Uh, fuerte. Molido um, entero. Molido por uh, French press. Gracias. Ooh, more dog content. Cafe Grano. Un kilo. The house blend intenso. We're passing through La Floresta, lower La Floresta on the right, upper La Floresta on the left, and here we're going into Central Magno. This is a little shopping center here in Ahihik. There's a big Telcel office and parking in the shade for Jerry. This is the food court, and uh, that's where I'm going. I'm going in there to get a hamburger. Nice beamer. Not everybody in Mexico is poor. That's a Mexican's car. They have a Subway and an Oriental food place in there, and an ice cream shop, and a couple other taco place. Down here at the end of this walkway is the Scandinavian Bakery. Great bread. That's the subway on the right there. Uh, plastic surgery. They're making my hamburger. I'm just walking around here. This is the um, theater. What's playing? Uh, the Avengers. Movies come out here a little bit after the international releases, but not too much. And they, they're usually in English with Spanish subtitles. Unless it's an animated film for kids, then it's in Spanish because they're easier to dub and kids don't 
read subtitles. That's the sign for Centro Magno there. This is a, a place to change your money from dollars to pesos or whatever to whatever. My hamburgers should be done. I'm going to go around the corner, pick those up, and go home to the house and have lunch with Juan. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi, friends. I'm going upstairs because Lynn got up early and she went to sleep on the couch and I don't want to disturb her. I did that stained glass years ago when we were boaters. It's a nautical theme. Never did do a tour of my house, did I? Let's see. I've been in this room before because I sat in that chair right there and did uh, uh, my video about security. And um, there's one, he's still working on painting the house. Right now he's doing a little plastering right there in the corner. He's done all of this and painted all of that up there and several people ask about, is he doing all of that with a brush? Yeah, I actually have a 3000 PSI airless sprayer and he'd rather use the brush, so that's fine with me. This is uh, one of our five bathrooms and all of the tile work not just the floor tile, but all of the wall tiles. And all of the shower tiles. And all of the counter tiles. Jesus and I did all of the tile work in here. Um, you're looking at a mirror. Probably figured that out since you're looking at me. Um, this when we bought the house, this door, this door, it was not there. This was a door into the bathroom uh, on the other side of the wall. And then there was another door over here. Well, it appears that there's a door there now. <laughs> it's the door. Uh, this is kind of strange. I'm, that's not actually there. That's in the mirror. I'm looking at the video and what you're seeing is that which used to be a doorway into the bedroom. And over here that that <laughs> is not there. It's in the mirror. It's behind me. Anyway, uh, that was also a doorway there and uh, that went into the other bedroom. And this door didn't exist, so I closed that off in order to give me more room for the sink counter here. And um, we put a door here then, so that the bathroom could be ac accessed from out here in the hall instead of accessed from each of these two bedrooms, that one and that one. But today, I'm going to go in the guest room. We call this the guest room. And uh, I'm going to uh, sit right, well, let's look out at the lake first. There's one of the fishing boats out there. Let's see if we can zoom in on that. And it's focusing on the glass. I'm shooting through the glass. What's he doing? He's pulling on a net. This is the brown creeper nest. I like the brown creeper because every day he goes around the perimeter there of all the glass and he checks for spiders and spider webs. So he's in my employ 
I don't feed them though. Toto Ben? Feed. I don't feed the birds because God provides for the birds. But uh, for those of you who are young and struggling, don't forget, he doesn't put it in the nest. You gotta go out and get it. Anyway, I'm gonna put the camera right there on that tripod. And I'm gonna sit in that chair right there and talk to you for a while today. You may notice that uh, I've been stalling to get started talking about what's on my mind today. Let's look at this bathroom. More light. Uh, this one is um, themed with this particular sink tile pattern. It's called Pavo Real, which uh, means uh, peacock. Again, Jesus and I did all the tile work in here. So Pavo Real and Pavo Real and Pavo Real and Pavo Real. And since I'm the electrician, I get to do stuff like this. Light behind the mask. And, of course, the toilet. Also, Pavo Real. And another curved wall from the shower. Uh, can you, you can't tell unless I go down on the floor. Then you can see that it's curved. It's walk-in shower, no door. Window up there for a vent. A place I have to be doing some maintenance on the ceiling up there. I made that light fixture. I bought a pot. Well, a vase, I guess you'd call it. And I drilled a hole in the bottom and put a wire through it and hung the light up there. Anyway, let me sit down over here in this chair and we'll talk. Hi, friends. So it's Thursday and I'm... Thinking this morning, well, uh, tomorrow's Friday, I need to have a video. What am I going to talk about? What's on my mind today? Uh, I never really announced it as a goal, but it was a goal of mine to make two videos a week. And I think I've met my goal for uh, over a year. And it does become um, a question uh, on Mondays and Thursdays, <laughs> well, what am I going to talk about that I can get uploaded tonight so I can have a video out tomorrow, Tuesday or Friday? And um, I keep a list. You may have noticed in the beginning of this video that you've watched so far, if you've watched it this far, uh, that I was kind of stalling <laughs> because... <laughs> I really don't have anything to talk about today, but I keep a list of potential subjects. Now, if I get a question in a comment about Mexico or RVing, I pretty much answer it right then and there. Um, and if I get the question a number of times, I might make a video about it. Uh, I keep another list. I keep a list of ideas of things I might sit down and talk about. And when I started this channel and just wanted to tell some stories, sometimes it was just a list of stories that I might tell. And um, I've made, I think, 220 some videos, and so a lot of things have been crossed off the list. But I thought what I would do today is read you the list that I keep to see if any of these might pique your interest. And my purpose in doing that is that if you would leave me in the comments, hey, uh, that was interesting, why don't you tell us that story? Or, yeah, I'd like to hear more about that. 
Um, and on the other hand, um, I don't want a whole lot of this, but if you want to leave a comment and say, no, never talk about that, please. Uh, that would be okay, too, if you're polite. <laughs> anyway, this is my list. I keep it on my iPad. My list of video ideas that I might talk about someday. And my other purpose in doing that is that I think it might encourage you to give me more ideas to talk about. And again, if you have questions about living in Mexico or retiring in Mexico or retired life in general or uh, RVing, um, I love answering comments. Here's my list. Um, I might have to edit some of these <laughs> as being really bad ideas. Uh, scams in the U.S. Um, and then I just make little one-word hints about what I might talk about. Uh, health insurance, the price of everything. In Mexico, they fix stuff. In the U.S., they replace stuff. Car parts, for instance. Uh, property taxes, Ponzi schemes, Bernie Madoff, Craigslist schemes I know of and um, have gotten into. Um, next one. Family stories. Uh, hobo. Uh, my wife has a dress. Don't have to take my teeth out. I told that story. It was about, uh, and oh, and Bob at Kmart. Who's Bob? Those are stories that I've told before. Um, I can't say that one. Don't understand white people. That's a story about my Korean son-in-law. Um, taxes, um, salaries, income, capital gains, mm, kind of mm, mm. uh, in-home in nursing care costs. I did a video, a couple of videos about that here in Mexico. Uh, residency, crime, importing a car, banking, and exchanging money. I've touched on some of that stuff, but uh, I could make a more comprehensive video about a part of it. Oh, the circus, the goat, and the pit bull. Um, you may not know that um, Mexico has banned using animals in circuses. Um, so these would have been before that ban, which happened a few years ago. Uh, the circus with 11 Bengal tigers and the plastic. Culture shock when returning to the United States. I've mentioned that before, too. Um, shades of brown, no color. I've talked about that before. Oh, the moon is a vertical slice. The moon, <laughs> in its partial moon, not a full moon, is different at this latitude that I was always used to in the northern United States. It's just something I've noticed. Um, how about this one? 400 miles out to sea, west of the Panama Canal, on a cruise ship floating in the universe. A nearly religious experience. Guillermo at the hardware store. Uh, Condito, that's my gardener, Puerto Vallarta. Julio in the kitchen faucet, and how to get a discount at the plumbing store, and uh, buying salsa makers at the Juan de Dios market in Guadalajara. That was another one. Um, there's an old joke about asking directions and you can't get there from here. Searching for cigarettes and how it relates to a different concept of time in Mexico. Uh, banking in Mexico, credit cards, cash, and getting your Social Security benefits. I had a video about that. Um, oh, me and the Pistoleros in a small town near Topeak, Mexico. I did that video. Mexican parenting. I will do a video about this one. And Have you ever seen a parent yelling at their kid at the mall? You weren't in Mexico. Waldo's, the Mexican dollar store, and chocolate from Poland. Stops by the Mexican police. I did a video about that. I've got several more stories about stops by the Mexican police. Uh, why a tower and a cupola? I did that one. Um, I talked about that one day. 
passive heat. Uh, the local grocery store with food imported from the USA. Now, we still have one of those, but there was, a, there was one that had a lot of imported stuff, only imported stuff, and well, I didn't get the video made, and they went out of business. Uh, how and why did we move to Mexico? I've done that. Got 700,000 views. Why did I retire at 55? I don't know why I put that on the list, because I didn't retire at 55. They fired me. Could be because I actually retired way before that. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, why should you order things from a couple of Chinese websites for delivery in Mexico? Uh, or upon waterfalls. I did that video. Scams. I did that video. A day with Carlos. Um, Carlos is the brother of a famous artist here at Lakeside, Efren Gonzalez. And his brother Carlos owns a second-hand store. And one day Carlos took me to uh, Guadalajara because I had a digital camera and he wanted to take pictures of a place that he was being solicited to be the curator for, for the disposition of a wealthy Mexican's possessions. And it was an interesting day. The wealthy Mexican turned out to be a famous uh, bullfighter. Anyway, that's a story that deserves a whole video with lots of pictures. Uh, Pazcuaro, Inicio Island, the Monument of Morelia, and the Santa Clara de Cobra Copper Shops. That would be a good one. Uh, the day the road ended in Santa Maria del Oro. I'll give you a teaser. We drove for several hours, and the road ended. The road just ended. And people in the little town said, this happened before. A gringo came to town once, 15 years ago. Hiking the mountains above Ahihik to the Three Crosses and a view of Trohes and Lake Cahitlan, that's over the mountains that way, at 8,200 feet. The Cosmos Vital in Toluca, Mexico. Beautiful, beautiful building. It's a stadium, not stadium, basketball court-sized building. It's an arboretum, and all of the walls and the ceiling are stained glass. That store in Guadalajara that's so weird, I can't describe it. A flying saucer, kitchen, kitchen dishes, Af African animals, a Buddha, doormats, backpacks, life-size statues of Elvis and the Blues Brothers, and cut glass crystals the size of your fist. And that doesn't begin to explain this store. It's huge. It's three floors and, well, here I sit trying to explain it and I can't. A uh, tour of Juan de Deos de Libertad, uh, the largest indoor market in Latin America. That's in Guadalajara. Uh, Dief in a palm. Those are um, uh, cards for seniors in Mexico. You have to be over 60. Uh, taxis, flights, and old guy discounts in Mexico. I did that video. Uh, Canadian boating in the Straits of Georgia, Georgia, the meteor shower, an Irish brogue, and the spotlight contest. I'm smiling because I know the story. <laughs> and you don't, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, and this one was right along the same time. White pants, tidal mud, and the imaginary snake. Uh, let's see, I'm skipping that one. Um, well, here's a note to myself about writing a book. Um, I actually have a title for it. The title is Horses Don't Have Tail Lights, which occurred to me one night driving home from um, a restaurant in the dark. And um, it says something about living in Mexico. Uh, 
recover unused space in your RV construction of the fishing box drawer. I did that uh, video. Hush Puppy, the Baby Squirrel, and the Blue Jay. That would be a good story. Uh, best freshwater idea for an RV, the pressure tank. I did that video. Uh, when it's time to hang up the keys, exit plan Mexico. I did that video. Uh, storage might be cheaper than a round trip. That was just kind of a, that wasn't a video idea. That was just me talking to myself. A Mexican graveyard tour. Um, a friend named Vicky just suggested that, and I put it on the list about three hours ago. So I'm down at the bottom of the list of um, just general ideas. There are some other things that uh, apply to uh, my motor home RV life that may or may not be interesting for a lot of you who have come to long to my channel because you want to know about living in Zahik, Mexico. Uh, my Norcold 1200 V RV fridge works better than it ever did after I did this. Uh, welding the custom hitch to carry both the motorcycle and tow the Jeep. <laughs> dollar store bargain, why the itch cream at the dollar store is better than Cortisone 10. Um, uh, tipping the coach to better drain your holding tanks if you have air leveling. How to do dishes with a cup of water. Boondocking tip. Uh, convert your whole coach to LED lighting for $11. I should do that video as soon as I get back to the motorhome. Uh, quiet the bathroom fan. Uh, milk for boondocking. One of my problems when I go boondocking is Lynn likes to have cereal every morning with cold milk. And if you're out in the boonies for two or three weeks, that's a problem. Got to go to town for milk. But I fixed it. I don't anymore. Uh, the Volkswagen and the elephant. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry I'm laughing, but um, yeah. The, the Volkswagen and the elephant. Elephant sat on the hood of the Volkswagen. Um, and this is a true story. Uh, oh, and then... Well, I'm not ready to disclose what I used to do for a living. People ask me, and I always tell them, rodeo clown, um, which is not entirely untrue. <laughs> but the rest of these are about a business I used to own that um, uh, I'm, not ready to, I'm not ready to talk about yet. But that will be a book. Um... I'm sorry if this has been um, less than up to par with some of my other videos, but that's what I got today. Thanks for watching. And if you um, want to leave a comment below if any of those caught your interest or you'd like to hear more about them, or you've got another idea I haven't got on my list, uh, please leave it in the comments below. Have a great day. I'm going to go out and help paint. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.